Here we have a very nice looking 2003 BMW X5 D Sport in silver. The car is in very nice condition for its age as you'll see in the video. But if we start with the offside front tyre. Looking at the tread here, I'd say you've got around 4 to 5 mil of tread. Take a look at the front alloy, it does appear to be in really nice condition. With no signs of any curbing at all or any major damage. Looking down the offside of the vehicle. Now it is a bit wet, um, but I have had a good look. Can't see any signs of any dan dent, sorry, damage, or even any small dinks at all. But again, it is very wet. But uh, I have had a good look. Moving down the uh, front driver's door here, a few minor stone chips to the paintwork, which you'd expect really from a, a used car. But looking on the side step, little uh, marks on the side step, little patches of rust here as well, which is quite a common thing with the X5s. But uh, no signs of any major damage, like I said. Look at the driver's door here. No signs of any car park chips at all on the driver's door. It's very clean. And looking at the sills, they appear to be in nice condition as well. Take a look at the rear passenger door here. A couple of light scratches, but they would polish out no problem. And again, no signs of any car park chips at all on the rear passenger door. If we move on to the offside rear tyre. And again, you've got around 4mm off tread there. Take a look at the uh, offside rear alloy. Really nice condition again, with no signs of any curbing, just a few light uh, scratches here and there. But uh, on the offside of the vehicle, it appears to be in good order. Looking around the rear of the vehicle now. But again, very nice condition on the back of the car. Doesn't appear to be any signs of any dents or any damage at all. A couple of light scratches to the boot lid. Again, you'd expect it from a used car, to be honest. Um, but uh, condition-wise, very nice. And of course, you get your rear parking sensors uh, down there as well. Take a look in the boot. Nice and clean, tidy boot. And uh, if we take a look under the boot tray here, you can see you do get your spare wheel in there as well. And all your bits and bobs, so that's great. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Take a look at the uh, near side rear tyre, and again, good plenty enough tread there, you've got a good four, three to four mil of tread. And take a look at the near side rear alloy, again, very nice condition to be fair, with no signs of any curbing or any damage. And then take a look down the near side of the vehicle, again, very hard to see, it's very wet, I've tried to dry the vehicle off, but of course it's raining, it gets wet quite fast. Uh, but taking a good look, can't see any signs of any dense damage, or any signs of any small dinks at all. Again, no signs of any car pot chips on the uh, rear passenger door. Footstep, as you can see, again a couple of marks, little patches of uh, rusting um, to the footstep. But looking at the front uh, passenger door as well, no signs of any car pot chips at all. It's a very clean looking vehicle to be honest. A little bit of a scratch there on the mirror cap. But as we move down to the front, looking at the near side front tyre, and you've got plenty of tread there, a good 5 to 6 mil of tread. And taking a look at the near side front alloy, again very nice condition, no signs of any curbing at all, slight minor scuff to the top, but overall I don't think any of the wheels would need a refurb to be honest, as you can see there, slight bit of a scuff as well. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, uh, it's going to be a bit hard to see, um, but I've got a bit of a scuff here to the plastics, you can see the scratch there, so there's a slight scuff to the plastics there on the front. And a couple of stone chips as well, just one or two dotted around the bonnet here and there. But uh, condition wise, no signs of any damage to any of the bumpers at all. Everything looks in good order. That's the bodywork. If you take a look inside, have a look in the rear seats first. I need to get this full black leather interior. But as you can see, very nice condition. Leather looks really well with no signs of any damage at all. No rips or tears. It's so a very nice condition in the back. Back of the seats look very well as well. I will mention you have got a slight scratch, as you can see there on the uh, the near side rear passenger seat there. Apart from that, it looks very well. Moving around to the front of the vehicle and take a look at the driver's seat. Again, very nice condition to be honest. Holsters look in nice condition. Slight bit of wear into the bottom there. But again, it is an 03 plate. Full electric seats with memory seats, and they function 
perfectly fine as well. So no problems there. And the same with the front passenger seat as well. Looks very clean, very tidy. The leather looks well. And the same with the rest of the interior as well. All the dashes, etc. And steering wheel, all in nice condition. If we step inside the car, I can show you the mileage. You do get uh, three sets of keys with the car, so plenty of keys. And if we just get the car started up. As you can hear there, no problem with the car. Starts first time. Um, I will say, you can see with the display here, um, it is a, if I hold down the button there, check control UK, so there's a little problem there with the display, um, 120,325 miles on the clock, and those things there on the dash you need to be aware of, but of course, you do need to sort the display out. And it's the same with the radio as well, you can see, it's not showing um, all the digital display there. So that will need sorting out. But looking here, no problems with the radio at all. Sounds perfectly fine. Great there. And also you can see you've got your heating here and things. And also your air con there. As you can see, light indicates it's on. And turn it all the way up. There's no problems with any of the blowers at all. They're all functioning very well. And as you can see here, you've got your PDC. You can turn on and off and other things, etc. Automatic transmission. If you take a quick look at the documents now. We do have a copy of the V5 as the plate is on uh, retention. Three former, uh, three owners. MOT certificate till April 11th, 2014. So plenty left on the MOT. And we do get full service history, partially franchise. So that's great as well. Feel free to pause any time to have a better look. First one there at 10, second at 20. 32, 40, 54. 69, 84, 98. So you can see it's had plenty of service history on the vehicle. And your last one there at 114,000 miles. So just over 6,000 miles ago it was last serviced. But there we go, that's the 2003 BMW X5D Sport in silver. And for car of its age, it's in very nice condition.